Hello, I'm Lin, the communicator of local smart Peter. This is our team information. Before the presentation, I will give you a brief table of contents. We will proceed in the order of problem definition, conceptual design, manufacturing design, and the product description. The first one is problem definition. The given situation was the overall process of the shepherd managing the sheep's farm. And we could see what shepherds do when they prepare food for sheep, distribute it to sheep, and clean the sheep's farm. And the shepherds are looking for a solution to the uniform distribution of food to sheep. We also asked the shepherds and sheep buyer the following questions through possible question for interview, which allowed us to get the information we needed. As a result, our situation analysis is as follows. Especially as you can see in the known problem, we are able to organize three problems that occurred in a given situation as follows. Then, to define the problem, we wanted to find the problem factor for each problem and find the main factor of the problem by weighing it for each factor. Since then, we have reduced the problem that we needed to solve to one by differentiating the score based on the four issue criteria. As a result, the ship's food imbalance was the first problem to be solved and depending on the weight, the factor could be the lack of optimization system. The second cause is conceptual design. In this process, we are able to get a wide range of solutions to the defined problem through the brainstorming process such as conveyor belt, automatic door and smart cart, circular feeder using piston, and conveyor belt cleaning system smart cart. The ideas of four groups were also given differential scores according to the criteria, so that they could choose the most reasonable solution. As a result, idea four, conveyor belt cleaning system, smart cart, and low cell was selected as our final idea. It's the most reasonable choice among the ideas, but there were also minus elements such as machine repair problems. Thus, we have shown the product process in detail to play the same role as the user manual. To implement the selected idea, three RFID tags, reader, submotor, low cells, and Arduino board were used, and a conveyor belt and automatic feeder were used. A rotary door using a servo motor to feed an appropriate amount, and automatic feeder inlet to prevent discharge and fall, or model using a 3D printer and plummet. An acrylic plate was used to produce a strong and clean appearance, and a conveyor belt support feeder and feeder barrier were modeled to cut the thick, thick acrylic plate with a razor machine. The circuits shown on the left were connected to one Arduino board, and each RFID was controlled using three RFID Arduinos. The major coding parts are shown. The final product was completed as shown in the picture below. The working principle is as follows. When a ship with an RFID text comes to the front of the feeder, it is recognized by the RFID leader and the revolving door on the conveyor belt turns. And when the set time comes, the foot automatically flows out, the foot moves to the feeder by revolving door, and when an appropriate amount is detected by the low cell, the revolving door turns to its original state and no more foot comes in. And the important part is that when a ship with an already recognized RFID text enter the feeder again, the revolving door does not rotate and the foot does not enter the feeder, making it impossible to eat. This is the overall look of our product. This is the implementation video.
This is the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening.